How to make bath bombs. If you love bath bombs but can't justify the price of fancy store-bought bath fizzies, then quench your skin moisturizing thirst by making your own bath bombs at home. The process is simple, requires only a few ingredients, and will leave you soaking in relaxation. Try one of these four bath bomb recipes and give yourself a spa day at home. Basic Bath Bombs Makes 4 to 8 small bombs or 2 large bombs. Half cup, 120 milliliters, powdered citric acid. 1 cup, 240 milliliters, baking soda. 3 fourths cup, 180 milliliters, cornstarch. 1 fourth cup, 60 milliliters, Epsom salts, optional. Food coloring, several drops, optional. Essential oils, several drops, optional. Water or olive oil, to dampen. Ultra softening bath bombs. Makes 4 to 8 small bombs or 2 large bombs. 8 ounces, 225 grams, cornstarch. 4 ounces, 112 grams, baking soda. 4 ounces, 112 grams, citric acid. 3 ounces, 85 grams, cocoa or shea butter. 3 tablespoons, 45 milliliters. Almond oil. 3 tablespoons, 45 milliliters, coconut oil. Essential oils for the scent, up to 6 minus 10 drops. Food coloring for appearance. Milky bath bombs. Makes 4 to 8 small bombs or 2 large bombs. 1 cup, 240 milliliters, baking soda. 1 cup, 240 milliliters, powdered citric acid. Half cup, 120 milliliters, cornstarch. One third cup, 80 milliliters, finely ground Epsom salts. One fourth cup, 60 milliliters, powdered milk. Two tablespoons, 30 milliliters, olive oil. Two tablespoons, 30 milliliters, melted cocoa butter. Witch hazel, several drops. Water, to moisten. Essential oils, up to 6 to 10 drops. Food coloring, several drops. Herb or flower bath bombs. 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, citric acid. 3 ounces, 100 grams, bicarbonate of soda or baking soda. Essential oils or some old perfume, several drops. Water, to moisten. Food coloring, optional. Dried herbs or petals, optional. Cosmetic glitter, optional. Making basic bath bombs. Gather all your ingredients. You will need half cup, 120 milliliters, powdered citric acid. One cup, 240 milliliters, baking soda. Three fourths cup, 180 milliliters, cornstarch. One fourth cup, 60 milliliters, Epsom salts. Optional. Food coloring, several drops, optional. Essential oils, several drops, optional. Water or olive oil, to dampen. Combine the powders. In a large non-reactive mixing bowl, add your citric acid, baking soda, and cornstarch. Use your hands, a whisk, or a mixer to thoroughly incorporate all these dry ingredients together. If desired, you could measure in 1 fourth cup, 60 milliliters, of Epsom salts after stirring the other ingredients together. Doing so is optional, however. Add a bit of water or oil. Use a spray bottle to lightly dampen the mixture you've just created. Add only enough water so that the dough is compactable, but avoid adding so much that it becomes fizzy and must be started over. After spritzing the mixture two or three times, Give it another stir with your hands. It should hold its form when pressed together. If it doesn't, add a little more moisture and try again. Pour in your essential oils and food coloring. When your mixture can be easily molded in your hands, add a few drops of essential oil and food coloring to your liking. Feel free to mix multiple scents and colors to create a combination unique to you. Lavender is a popular fragrance for relaxation and eucalyptus is popular for added energy or sinus relief. Feel free to use your favorites, however. 
press the mixture into molds. Use dome molds or a mold with rounded edges and press the bath bomb dough into it. Use a lot of pressure to compact the mixture firmly into the molds, to prevent cracking. Silicone candy molds can be used if you want to make smaller bath bombs. Let the bombs dry. Leave the bath bombs in the molds for at least 24 hours. Place the molds in a cool, dry area away from moisture. If after 24 hours the bath bombs still feel slightly damp, remove them from the molds and allow them to air dry independently. Store the bath fizzies. When the bath bombs no longer feel damp to the touch, remove them from their drying area and store them in an airtight container. Keep the bombs away from moisture to prevent premature fizzing, and enjoy them in your next bath. 1. Homemade bath bombs don't have any preservatives, so it's best to use them within a few months.